here we have a patient with actually not very prominent signs of anything, but with a little bit large pores on the forehead, a little bit dull complexion skin around the cheeks and the perioral area, and a small inflammatory pumples like a papular pustules on the chin. So here we are going to use the milk peel. First, cleansing the skin with former 15 for pumps. Leave it for one to two minutes. Now we're going to remove it. And then dry the skin. After removing foam 15 and drying the skin, we're going to apply milk peel. You need for the full face 2.5 ml. That is about the size of two euros. And you see this is not fluid, it's rather like a gel. And milk peel you can apply with a brush. You start with the T-zone. On the forehead. Nose. And you can go very close to the eyes, but you have to be very careful with your brush. You can see there is no pressure. And last but not least, the upper lip. A little bit that we have left, upper part of the neck. You could also apply a milk peel actually on the whole neck and even decolletage. And then leave it for about one to two minutes we see a reaction in kind of erythema. It's a mild to moderate erythema on the forehead, the chin, and also very evenly and nicely distributed on the cheeks. And now we can remove it because it starts to burn. This we can do quick. When the skin is dry after removing the milk peel, you apply hyaluronic on the whole face. You can apply it even a little bit thicker in the areas that were more affected by burning or any other discomfort sensations. And after hyaluronic is absorbed, the patient should apply sun protection before going out. Depending on the sensitivity of the skin of patients and developing erythema, removing it after 1.5 minutes in this case, but in some cases you can leave it up to 5 minutes. In order to protect patient eyes, you can put some cotton pads and some Vaseline or hyaluronic at the oral commissures and the proximal nasolabial triangle.